Hey everyone, welcome to video number seven here. So let's finish this up. Can I remove myself over here? The reason I'm not going to connect this, it's first off, it's very, very simple to connect Stripe. The other reason is uh, we just don't have our full bank account set up. So I don't want to connect Stripe to that. I don't have the Stripe set up for um, this LLC. But the amount is going to be the rent payment amount. Okay, it's going to be the rent payment and issue date. Again, let's double check this. We do not want relative. You don't want to look at your bank statement and see uh, rent payment three days ago. That does not make very much sense. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, current rent payment. The easy, you could go this way, okay, and do email. Um, you can also just do logged in e uh, user email. Submit button, pay now, okay. After payment successful, let's update the current rent payment. Okay. Um, so we're going to update this. And what we're going to do is say paid is true. Right. We are going to link them back. Now, there's a few other things here, and I want to hop on this. Okay. <clears throat> First thing is, one thing we can do is say the amount is the rent payment amount plus, or we might be able to do this in a formula, okay, let's see if, you can't do if, um, basically I think, I think that there's a way that you can add that late payment fee on there. Okay, I'm not gonna mess around with it in here, but then what you would do is you would do uh, payment plus um, the you know the late fee, whatever that is. So if you have a set late fee of fifty dollars, you can add that. Probably easiest way to do this is would just be to have two of these um, set up. So you could create a group here, um, you know, call it standard payment group. And then just have another group, um, you know, and it says, hey, if the payment is after the the late payment date, then uh, then then this is the new amount, and it's going to be the old amount plus the late payment. Okay, I'm not going to set that up on this one. That is for another tutorial, I believe. But it looks like we're good here. We're not going to be using marketplace because everything is going directly to us. Okay and that will take them back and that should mark their payment as paid which will take it out of there okay uh you know what since we got another two minutes let's just add a list here um, we're gonna add a simple list okay and this is gonna be a list of their maintenance requests okay <clears throat> Again, we want to filter it to the user. So logged in user property maintenance, or sorry, logged in user maintenance requester. So we'll check all of our lists here and double check that we have filtered to the logged in user. Okay, we have. All right. Let's add the title, maintenance request name. In the subtitle, let's add a status. Again, I don't think that we need, um, you know, a, a picture here. Um, and let's give the list a header. Okay. You know, let's do two things here. We're going to call this outstanding maintenance request. And then we're just going to put, call this one closed. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to filter them by fixed is true. And then we're going to filter this one by fixed is false. All right, I will see you all in the next video. Cheers.